have been here. The Grey Goose, Adventures of a Modern Robin Hood. After an experience where Barbara and I witnessed the shoplifting by a young woman whose face seemed vaguely familiar to me, I was able to persuade the manager of the store to let her off. Then I cudgelled my brains, and, uh, searching among my very doubtful archives, we unearthed a picture of one of my old corporals, deceased, and his wife, Nancy Wells. This was the woman who lifted nylons from a store. The wretched-looking shopwalker, Williams, we traced to her rooms and overheard a conversation that showed that he was the receiver of the goods that Nancy Wells stole. Barbara, what do you make of Nancy Wells? I think she is well under the thumb of that shopwalker, Rat Williams. She may be shoplifting nylons, but he's in it too, demanding 50 pairs next week. She doesn't appear to be able to resist him. Confound it, she can't be fond of a heel like that. She isn't. She's afraid of him. He's got some hold on her, Roly. That girl's innately honest. She's doing what she does out of necessity, driven to it. By Williams, you think? Yes. Shh, he's coming now. Better drive the car on. We're rather close to number 17, aren't we? Okay, Chief. Ah, <sighs> I'd... I'd have liked to trail, Williams. But never mind, I've got a better idea. We'll see the lady first. How? Just a call. Now, come on. Later, we'll go and see Mr. Williams, the twerp. Huh. Door's open still. One flight up, you said? Yes, only one. Right. Uh, got your mask? Yes. Well, shove it on. This is one of those jobs, Barbara, in which we gain no honour or glory. We just remain anonymous. Knock gently, my dear. Is that you again, Ernest? I'm not going to see you any more tonight. No, it's not Ernest Williams. It's just a girlfriend. I haven't such a thing. Sorry, I can't let you in. I think you should. You see, I know all about the nylons. I know all about the whole setup, but I'm still a friend. I assure you I mean no harm. I'm bringing help. Open up, please. Who are you? Excuse our masks. We didn't wish to frighten you. Oh, I come here masked. I don't know you. If you want to rob me, do so. You'll find this a very poor hunting ground. I've nothing. Uh, let me explain, my dear. We have robbed. We do rob. But this is an occasion when we don't. In fact, we bring you something. What? What is there you can bring me? Close the door and maybe you'll be very interested. Thank you. And here's what I've brought you. Photo of Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. And a photograph of yourself backing it. Oh. Where, where did you get this? Through the only means it could be obtained. Given to me by Jimmy Wells himself. But he is dead. Yes, my dear. He's dead. Twelve years ago. As to how I came by them, he gave them to me. Who are you then? <laughs> May I keep that information to myself for a time? Just think of me as the Grey Goose. The Grey? But you're in every paper as a, a bandit, a thief, May a... I refute that reputation and assure you that, as a friend of Jimmy Wells, I'm neither of those things? But why do you come here? Because you are Jimmy's wife. Oh, forgive me. Widow. And in trouble. My troubles are my own. I can't let a... And they're pretty heavy to bear... I've learnt that. Mostly consisting of Nylons and Ernie Williams. How... Now, don't be a little idiot. I've learned all I want to know about that gentleman, and I can assure you he's not going to dictate to you much longer. I owe it to Jimmy Wells. Jimmy Wells? And so do you. He thought the world of you. He wouldn't like these dealings with Williams and Nylons, would he? Don't. Please don't. Would you like to tell me about it? Why should I? Yes, I've been lifting nylons for months. Not because you like it, I'm sure. No. Oh, no. Then tell me, and give me the chance of helping you. You mean that? 
Yes, as a friend of Jimmy's. Very well. I, I think I will tell you. Jimmy and I were only married one week. The next he was killed at Dieppe. I was with him. I can hardly believe today the wreck that made of my life. I... I was all unprepared. The sad story of so many. I was only 20. The world seemed to stop. Later, as his widow, I received my pension. Then came difficult times. I got... I had to get a job. Oh, it was one of many. Is this a usual story? A familiar one so far. Please continue. Then I met Williams. Oh, don't start thinking things. He's just scum. I'm glad you think that way. He gave me a job in a store. I, I pinched a little here and there. I had to. He insisted. I was hard up. I found myself obeying him. Then... Go on. Then shortages were discovered, and I was sacked. You were not prosecuted? No. I wish I had been. I wish I'd been put in prison. Why? Well, it was from then on Williams blackmailed me. Every job I got, I had to steal a little or be threatened with exposure. I even had to pay him two pounds a week out of my pension. Jimmy's money. And three pounds out of what I earned. What a worm. Then he decided I was more use shoplifting than in a job and... Well, there you have it. I still give him two pounds out of my pension and... Up to daytime, the best nylon pincher in captivity. Captivity's right. My lord, there are some worms about. So you see, I'm not worth much either, as one of your victims or, or anything else. That's as maybe, Nancy. But there's something else you haven't yet told me. There's nothing. Now don't overprotest. Blackmail means exposure to the law, the police. Not always. Sometimes to an interested party. Do you or don't you know? Come, tell me. There is someone, isn't there? Yes. Jimmy wouldn't mind, you know. Wouldn't he? Uh, I knew Jimmy Wells better than most. I'm certain he'd wish you luck. He... Jeff wants to marry me, but I daren't let him. Williams will tell him all about me if I don't carry on. Somehow I don't think Williams is going to have much to say in your future, Nancy. Somehow, I, I'm glad you called. I personally am delighted. Now, just one thing. The address of the Viper. Who? The Viper, Mr. Ernie Williams. Just write it down, draw a line under it, then write it off and forget it. Will you... Will I hear from you again? Yes, definitely. I shall send you a telegram on your wedding day, signed, The Grey Goose. is the rat hole, Barbara. Rat hole's right. <laughs> He's even got his name in brass on the door. <laughs> Ernest Williams. Rowley, do you believe Nancy Wells' story? Every word of it. I'm so glad. If ever I saw sincerity, I saw it while she was telling you. And even if she wasn't altogether truthful, I'd take up the cuddles for old Jimmy Wells' sake. However, there's no question of that. Shoplifter, though she is, she's inherently honest. I'm certain of it. Well, now to find Mr. Ernie Williams. Let's go. Basement flat, eh? Mm, should be easy. Put your mask on. Down the steps, eh? Mm, definitely down the area steps. And mind the garbage cans. Are we going in? But yes. I hope for your modesty's sake he's not getting ready for bed. I wouldn't be interested. <laughs> now, hold your breath. I'm going to try one of Charlie Austin's keys on this door. Who's there? Um, only a poor old garbage tin, Mr. Williams. Who the devil are you? <laughs> Have you just left the Albert Hall ball or what? Uh, forgive the masks, my dear sir. We've just come from a party and are rather enamoured of the effect. Permit us to introduce ourselves. I am I. This lady is, um, she. Or should I say her? My dear, meet Mr. Ernest Williams. Pleased to meet you. Oh, this is just ridiculous. I shall ring the police. Do so. I've got some very good friends in Scotland Yard. They'd be very interested in all these packages. Look at them. 
Nylons, nylons everywhere, and not a dropped stitch to be seen. Oh, you darn fool, you've upset them just after... Just I... after you'd sorted them out in sizes and colours, eh? <laughs> How clumsy of me. Get out. Oh, no. Barbara, you are now let loose among the woman's dream of heaven. Nylons, nylons everywhere. Help yourself. Stop. Stop this tomfoolery. You apparently have got on to something. Look, shut up about this and I'll let you... You shut up. You see this? That's my fist. Feel this. That's the same fist. Don't... Don't do that again. You don't like it? Neither does Nancy Wells like being hounded to death by you. What do you know about Nancy Wells? Just this. She's through. Understand? Through. And so are you, Mr. Shopwalker Williams. Nancy Wells stole every pair in this room. What do you do about that? Just this. And this. And just one for the road. Williams, the police are going to get you for this. And your firm's going to sack you for this and that. But if you breathe a word about Nancy Wells, I shall deal with you. Perhaps I won't. For a consideration, a deal. Ah, ah. A consideration, a deal. Heaven save us. All right. Here's the consideration and the deal. It's a promise. That's fine. I hope you'll keep it. Or I'll get at you even through the walls of Wormwood Scrub Jail. What the devil's that? That, my clever friend, is a lorry. Just pulled up outside. The driver has called to collect the nylons. As a matter of fact, he'll be more than useful. He may help me to collect you as well. Slip out, Barbara. Quick, hurry. Ring Ben Ford. Don't use your own voice. Tell him to stay in his office and expect a call from the Grey Goose. Somehow, Roland Fletcher's good turn has turned sour on him. How's he going to get out of this predicament? The climax is reached in the next adventure of The Grey Goose. <laughs>